Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about a medicine named Tolvepton. This medicine, you know, have a great impact on some types of patient which have a urine problem. So first of all, let us know the uses of the Tolvepton tablet. So the Tolvepton is used in the treatment of low level of sodium in your blood. Tolvepton basically treats the low level of sodium in the blood, which can result from the conditions such as heart failure or cirrhosis, syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. So due to this, what happens you know, in your blood, the sodium level increases too much that it will cause a problem for you. Then what happens? Then this tablet, okay, it regulates or maintain the level of sodium in your blood. So now we are going to know that how this tolveptum works. So first of all, tolveptum is a vasopressin antagonist. So it works by blocking the effect of the hormone vasopressin in the body. This increase urine production and reduces the amount of water in the blood and raises the blood sodium level. Now we are going to know the common side effect of the tolveptum. What happens if the patient takes tolveptum tablet? If suppose that a patient is going to take tolveptum tablet, then he or she might feel dryness in mouth, increased thirst, dizziness, nausea, fatigue, polyuria and diarrhea. So such conditions can occur after taking the tolveptum tablet. Before moving further, let us know that what are the brands which are circulating in the market. Okay. And they are very famous also and very effective also. The first product is Netrise, which is a product of Sun Pharmaceutical. Second product is Resodim, which is a product of Lupin. Another product, Hyponato, which is a product of Zydus Catila. MSN Laboratories is also giving a great competition to this drug by name Tolvet. Tolvesca, a Glenmark pharmaceutical product, is also a promising tablet for the patients. So, if you come across all these tablets, you can take any one of them and their results are very effective and in all these medicine the common ingredient common composition is tolveptum so viewers let's move ahead okay and now i'm going to give you some tips okay, regarding that what you should do or what you should not do while taking this tolveptum tablet so as i told you that tolveptum tablet treats low sodium levels in the blood okay it improves the urine flow without causing the body to lose too much sodium as you urinate viewers you should take care that your patient should take this medicine every day at the same time take it according to the dose and duration prescribed by your doctor to avoid dehydration it's best to drink something as soon as you feel thirsty but you should avoid alcoholic drinks if you are unable to urinate or if you are unable to tell that you are thirsty or if you are severely dehydrated okay then you should stop this taking tolveptum tablet immediately and consult your doctor even if you notice problems with speech or muscle control, trouble in swallowing, okay, trouble in moving your arms or legs, or sometimes if you feel any mood changes in the patients after taking this tablet, then also you should consult your doctor and take his advice whether he should continue this tablet or not. You should also take care if you notice any yellowing of your eyes or skin, okay, and if suppose any dark urine is coming, okay, and if there is any abdominal pain is there that is stomach pain you will feel then you should you know go for your doctor and ask him to take the liver function test because all this problem occurs if something is happening with your liver and that means that if your tolveptum is interfering with your liver function so it is better to check the liver function so go for the liver function test if any problem arises now viewers i am going to tell you the most important information about this tolveptum tablet so the tolveptum tablet okay may cause the level of sodium in your blood to increase too quickly this quick increase in sodium level which we usually call osmotic demyelination syndrome ods syndrome we call it so this cause you know serious nerve damage which can further cause coma and even death also the symptoms of ods could be trouble in speaking trouble in swallowing or feeling of food or liquid getting stuck while swallowing so sometimes Drowsiness also you feel, confusion also you feel, mood changes will be there, fits also there, trouble controlling body movement like you have any involuntary movement. So you have a problem in moving those things and even you feel the weakness of muscles of the arms and legs. So if you face any problem like this, you should immediately consult with your doctor. Now the question arises for how long do I need to take this tolveptum tablet? 
Tolvoctam is used for the correction of sodium levels in the blood. Though the dose and duration are prescribed by the doctor, uh, but then also Tolvoctam should not be taken for more than 30 days. Okay. Once the sodium level, you know, returns to the normal value, it can be stopped after talking to your doctor. Another question arises, does Tolvoctam tablet affect the sugar levels in your blood? Then yes, Tolvoctam may increase the blood sugar level. Therefore, patient with diabetes mellitus need to be extra careful while taking tolveptam and should keep a check of blood sugar level regularly. Viewers, again a question arises that who should not take this tolveptam tablet. So, you should not take tolveptam tablet if you have low sodium level, cannot replace fluid by drinking or if you cannot tell that whether you are thirsty, dizzy or feeling faint or if your kidneys are not working properly because of excessive loss of fluid. So, in all these cases, you should avoid taking tolveptam tablet. You should also avoid taking tolveptam if your body is not able to make urine, okay, or you are allergic to tolveptam, in some cases it happens, or if you are on certain medicine which interfere with the working of tolveptam, then also you should not take tolveptam tablet. Now, the one important question arises, what will happen if I take excess of tolveptam, means the overdose condition of tolveptam tablet. So, in that case, you may need urgent medical attention. So, call your doctor and better to go, you know, the nearest hospital or taking to your patient so that he can get a primary treatment. Symptoms of taking too much tolveptam, you know, include thirst, dry or flaky skin, sunken eyes, rapid heartbeat, rapid and shallow breathing will be there or your blood pressure will become very low. Even you are going to pass more urine than normal and sometimes if you fail, faint also. So, if you persist any of this condition while taking tolveptam, you should immediately rush your patient to your nearby hospital. Finally, one more thing I want to tell that, okay, that you should take care that uh, whether you should take grapefruit juice while taking tolveptam or not. So, no, you should not take grapefruit or grapefruit juice while on tolveptam because the reason be behind this is the grapefruit or grapefruit juice may increase the level of tolveptam in your blood and your sodium level may rise too quickly. So, uh, if you are taking tolveptam tablet, never take grapefruit or grapefruit juice. So, viewers, if you like this information, please like, share and subscribe our channel and please go for the notification bell so that you will get the regular updates of medicine in your channel. Thank you.